Hello, everybody. Welcome to Rolling Royalty Revolution. And it is the 21st, right? Don't ask, okay? Because I got lost sometime today in my day. <laughs> It was a couple hours ago, and for some, for some reason, I thought that it was Sunday. And I think the reason is, is because, you know, I started following the Sabbath, observing it. So I went and I checked the mail this morning. And at the same time, I knew it was Saturday when I did that. And... A couple hours ago, I went to go check the mail, and for some reason, I thought it was Sunday for a little while. <laughs> so that's my goofiness for today. Um, today, I did a couple things. I um, actually got myself a Bible. Um, God blessed me with some food, and I went and went to a church oh, my nose is itching I went to a church and they blessed me with some food and and a bible praise God um because I've been using the one on my phone and it makes it a little bit difficult to get I have to write everything down now I can just write the scriptures that I want to go to oh my nose is itching so um, when I got opened up the Bible today, he brought certain verse, verses in Proverbs out to me um, that are very relevant for us um, chosen targeted individuals um, because these are things that we go through. Um, we go through a lot of mocking. We go through a lot of... Um, what's the word people trying to set us up for things that we're not doing excuse me my nose literally is itching so um so he i i got quite a few again scriptures written down here And I'm going to read the first one that I have in my little book that I got at the Family Dollar when I started doing these videos a couple months ago. She is clothed with strength and dignity, and she laughs without fear of the future. When she speaks, her words are wise, and she gives instruction with kindness. Proverbs 31 25 through 26. Okay. And um, I don't know if I did a video for this one, but I also have Psalms 1. So before I started getting into the study and I opened up my book, um, my one of my books that I like to log in when I do my study, um, I have Psalms 1 here. I was thinking that I was going to to read on that. So I'm going to go ahead and read it. And then we're going to get into, well, let's do this first. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get into a little bit of story about mocking. Before I knew what mocking was, really. Um, a few years ago... Well, first of all, Father, please give me the words. I come to you in Jesus' mighty name. I ask that you please give me the words to say. Thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Okay, so in 2000, I want to say 2013, and I started my spiritual awakening. It wasn't the very beginning of it. I, I, I've always been very much awake, um, very different, the outcast of the family. Um, my eyes always seen a little, little bit more differently than other people. 
Um, you can probably relate to that. Well, um, during spiritual warfare down here, not really understanding, but understanding at the same time where um, I was in a car accident and I was in alone. I was with my partner. Um, he, he plays a major part in my story. Um, but I'm not going to get all the way into details with this, the, with that story right now. Um, for the moment, I am only going to talk about this car accident that I was in, um, before I got into the car accident, actually, it starts in the beginning because I believe that the reason why I was in the car accident was because of the incidents that happened before that. Um, long story short, um, I was trying to prevent a, a death from happening. Um, he knew he was going to die. He was a targeted individual as well. Um, and we got into a car accident. And the police came and then you know how that goes, tows the car, towed my car and we got dropped off at a racetrack down here in um, Texas. It was Duncanville, Texas. And um, I was in the store. I think I had to go to the bathroom and then he was like, babe, come here, come look out the window. And when I get to the window, all the cars in the parking lot, it, it was her, her, horrendous. This is before I knew that, that I had gone through, I knew that I, I was targeted, but I didn't know what a targeted individual was yet. Um, I was just learning what gang stalking was as a name and I didn't I don't even think I knew what that was as a name yet um no I don't think that I knew what it was as a name yet I know that I've been a targeted individual since I was probably about I mean well I've probably been a targeted individual my whole life um however I didn't know what it was called until 2013 2014 so well he called me to the to the window so he wanted me to look out the window because he wanted me to see what he was seeing and what he when i looked out the window i was seeing people imitating us and what we looked like when we got into the car accident they were literally throwing their bodies up like they just got into a car accident. Okay, they were literally mocking us. So that's what I thought of when when he started showing me these scriptures. Another reason why, um, not reason why, the, an, another reason why he was showing me scriptures or memories that came back to me and not just memories that came back to me, things that we still go through. I go through this on a regular basis too. My phone was just hacked into, and I believe that it was hacked into so they can pursue to um, set me up for something that I'm not doing. So um, as I go through these scriptures, I will clarify a little bit and you probably know the reason why i'm going through these scriptures because i am fully aware that i that that we have um perps on our channels right i'm fully aware of that so it's also a reminder for the perps that are out there okay what you have to look forward to so first i'm going to start off with psalms 1 okay and this is for for my chosen okay 
Stay away from wickedness. Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked. The ones that who do not follow them, nor stand in the path of sinners, nor sit at the seat of ridiculers. But his delights in the but his delights in the law of the Lord and on his law, his precepts and teachings. He who meditates day and night, and he will be like a tree firmly planted by st streams of water, which yield, yields its fruit in its season. Its leaves do not wither, And whatever he does, it's prosperous, okay? The wicked who live, whose lives, what? Who live in disobedience of God's law are not so, but they are like the chaffed, worthless without substance, that the wind can blow away, just like this. Therefore, the wicked will not stand up unpunished in judgment, nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. For the Lord knows and fully approves the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked shall perish. Okay, so I'm going to be going, jumping around, because I actually started in like <laughs> 19, and I went up and down, up and down, up and down, okay? So this video is going to be about false witnesses, mockers. And I'm going to say snitches because when I first started noticing, that's what he was showing me. And I don't know why I was so concerned. I mean, I was concerned because I've been told that I'm going to be set up for something that I'm not doing. And he started showing me that. The Holy Spirit started working on me um, with this issue in 2019. Okay. I just didn't understand completely, but now I get it. Um, he, he, and he's still teaching me things and we have to remember to remain teachable. So, yeah, so I'll probably name this, I don't know what I'm going to name this video. Anyways, so let's get into it. I'm going to go to Proverbs 21. And I am going to Proverbs 21, 29. Wait. No, I'm going to Proverbs 19. I didn't write. Proverbs 19, 29. Penalties are prepared for mockers and beatings for the bat. For the backs of fools. Okay. They're not going to go unpunished. It's not our job to punish them. We protect ourselves. But it's not our job to, to punish them. And then we're going to go to 19.5. A false witness will not go unpunished. And he who pours out lies will not go free. You get that? A false witness will not go unpunished. So things like, you know, setting people up for things that they're not doing. Putting, let's say, um, 
let's say people's locations and locations that they're not at because you're hacking their phones and and their emails account email accounts yeah it's not going to go unpunished so 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 you know family don't don't, don't worry about it he sees it all let's go to the nine, A poor man is shunned by his relatives. How much more do his friends avoid him, though he pursues them with pleadings that they are nowhere to be found? And this is for, you know, you know, for us, right? Because it seems like whenever we need help, Nobody's there for us. Where are we going now? 19 anymore? 19? 19, 19, 9? A false witness will not go unpunished, and he who pours out lies will perish. Okay? A lying tongue. That's the devil's native language. And then we're going to Proverbs 25. Flog a mocker, and the simple will learn prudence. Rebuke a discerning man, and he will gain knowledge. You see, we have to use our discernment. It's very important. Now we're going to go to 1917. I told you I was jumping around. And we're in Proverbs 19 right now. He who is kind to the poor lends to the Lord. And he will reward him for what he has done. It's important that we give. And like I said, we don't have to just give, we don't have to give in the church. It's taking care of our family, even if we don't know them. If our needs are taken care of, and we have it, why not? If we have it, I mean, it's like if I have everything that I need and I have $5 in my pocket, why wouldn't I? see we are in 19 now we're going to go to 2017 food gained by fraud tastes sweet to a man but he ends up with the mouth full of gravel this is for those people who are scamming right and i went through one today I think I went through one today. I'm not sure. I'm not going to speak too much on it. We have to be careful. Not we. It's, 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 this is what the, the kind of stuff that happens to us. Okay, we have to be careful not to become a victim of fraud. Because we want to think good of other people. That's 17, 21, 28. A false witness will perish, and whosoever listens to him will be destroyed forever. Okay, so anybody who is believing the lies, okay, don't don't think that they're not going to don't think that they're not going to to be getting judgment for that. They will get their judgment as well. 21 29 Wait, what was that? 21 28 
be 129. There is no wisdom, no sight, no plan that can su succeed against the Lord. So it doesn't matter what they try to do to come against you. A false witness will perish and whoever listens to him will be destroyed. A wicked man puts up a bold front, but an upright man gives thought to his ways. There is no wisdom, no insight, no plan that can succeed against God. So it does not mean against our Lord, against the Lord. So, so, so it does not matter what they try to scheme up. It does not matter. They might be successful for a little while, but they're not going to succeed against our Lord. Truth and honesty will always win. Okay. Love will always win. What's in the dark always comes to the light. And it doesn't matter how dark it is. Now we're going to go to Proverbs 3, chapter 3. And we're starting at 3.30. Do not accuse a man for no reason when he has done you no harm. Okay, now we do have to be careful with this. We have to make sure that we're not accusing anybody, really. Unless we are, are absolutely true. I mean, we're absolutely 100% no for a fact. The thing is, is that it's really hard for us to prove the things that that we see because a lot of the things that we see are in spiritual and we don't even realize it at the moment when we start going through it, right? There is a difference between seeing in the spiritual and seeing in the human and seeing, being able to see both. When my, um, the love of my life, um, before he passed away when I was going through what I when we were going through it together because he was the one that was telling me that he was being followed but I was seeing in the spiritual and he was seeing it like in the human but I was really seeing in the spiritual I seen a whole bunch of crazy stuff back then okay so 30 33, 333, three, three. okay. The Lord's curse is on the house of the wicked, but he blesses the home of the righteous. So know that, that there is a curse on their houses. There is a curse on their houses, okay? Because he said so. Not because I said so, because he said so. Proverbs 34, he mocks proud mockers, but gives grace to the humble. Okay, so don't think, <coughs> excuse me, don't think that because um, you're being mocked that they're not going to be mocked. They are being mocked even worse, okay? And 35, the wise inherit honor, but fools he holds up to shame. And they will be held up to shame because he said so. Nothing will go unpunished. I promise you, because that's what he says. Now we're going to go to Proverbs 18, 10, 18. He who conceals his hatred has lying lips, and whoever spreads slander is a fool. This is, you know, really epic, right? Because this is people lying to you in your face. This is people pretending to be your friend in your face. Um, and really doesn't yeah, they really hate you. They really don't like you at all. 
they lie about you. They gossip about you and they lie about you. When words are many, sin is not absent, but he who holds his tongue is wise. And remember that. Sometimes the best thing for us to do is be quiet and observe. Observe the energies. We got 12. Oh, we got 12, 22. Two, two, two. All right. The Lord detests lying lips, but he delights in men who are truthful. Right? So this goes back to um, false witness. Okay? He detests in lying lips. 14.6 And we're in Proverbs, okay? So I'm just going to say the chapter and the verse. Through love and faithfulness, sin is atoned for. Through the fear of the Lord, a man avoids evil. Right? So, you know, people who are doing these things don't have a fear of the Lord. Seventeen four. A wicked man listens to evil lips. A liar pays attention to malice to the malice tongue. Seventeen five. He who mocks the poor shows contempt for the maker. Whoever gloats over disaster will not go unpunished. Seventeen seven. Arrogant lips are insult uns unsuited to a fool. How much worse lion lips to a ruler right these are people who are in in areas i mean let's see lying lips to a ruler um that are in places of leadership because we have those too i'm gonna tell you right now that when i was going through my spiritual awakening down here before he passed, um, my Facebook account was logged into during that time from Bellevue, Washington, from da Dallas um, a couple times. And um, there's a very wealthy man in Bellevue, Washington. I may not say his name. just so happens that a couple weeks ago somebody was tracking me from Bellevue, Washington again and it's not the first time it's not the second time it's definitely not the third time I got, I, I'm pretty sure I know who this is let's see 17-7 I already read that Twenty one twenty eight. A false witness will perish, and whoever listens to him will be destroyed forever. Twenty two eight. He who sows wickedness reaps trouble, and the rod of his fury will be destroyed. You can't expect to do bad and get good. You can't expect to hang out with people that are doing bad and get good. 
it will only be destroying to you. And as being truth tellers, you know that we can't. They don't even want to hang out with us, actually, because we tell too much truth that, that, that it's irritating to them. That's why they try to falsify a lot of things for us, because they're really angry. Twenty two eight. Okay, so then he brought me to twenty nine twenty five. All right. Fear of man will prove to be a snare, but whosoever trusts in the Lord is kept safe. Okay, so remember, don't be fearful of all these, these mockers. Don't be fearful of all these false witnesses, the snitches, the work, ones that are working for, for the enemy and the government for a dollar because they don't want to take their cases, so they got to set up cases that aren't even real um, to, to get out of doing the time that they need to do for themselves because they're selfish and they don't want to think about other people, okay? They're concerned about their freedoms, but they weren't concerned about their freedoms when they got themselves in the trouble that they got themselves into, so they'd rather set somebody up for doing something that they're not doing, um, falsifying things at, in groups because they run in groups. They'd rather do that than 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 do the time that they they knowingly know that they deserve to do. They will go punished. They will not go unpunished because he says that they will not go unpunished. See. Christ was prosecuted for things that he wasn't doing. That's what they're going to try to do to us. And that's why it's important for us to stay walking in the truth and to not hang out with everybody because everybody is not for us. Proverbs 4.14 But at the same thing, at the same time, not, you know, barricade ourselves in a room we still need to go out there and preach the gospel and try to save as many souls as we can you know 414 do not set foot on the path of the wicked or walk in the way of an evil man we have to be 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 careful it's a narrow path that we have to be on. And then we got 12, 19. Truthful lips endure forever, but a lying tongue lasts only a moment. Yes, because our father is the father of truth. He is the truth, the way, and the life, and the light. Then we got Proverbs sixteen twelve. Kings detest wrongdoing, for a throne is established through righteousness. Honest scales and balance are from the Lord. All the weights in the bag are of his making. Okay? He always makes sure the scales are balanced. He always does. He ain't never lied, and he's always kept his promises. 1617. The highway of the upright avoids evil. He who guards his way guards his life. That 
means staying on path and staying in your lane and paying attention, stay alert. 1620. Whoever gives heed to instruction prospers and blessed is he who trusts in the Lord. We have to be in our word. We have to listen. Sometimes we could be in the midst of angels. Pay attention. In 1716. Of what use is money in the hand of a fool since he has no desire to get wisdom? What use is money in the hand of a fool if they have no desire to get wisdom? And this is for all those people that are are out there, um, you know, the, the the perps. They get they get their money and then they blow it up. They blow it on 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 things that just are just completely worthless. They're not thinking or seeing the big picture. And then they get upset with you when you're okay and you're able to pay your rent and you're able to get the things that you need, not necessarily the things that you want, but us being targeted individuals, we ain't really never had anything anyways, right? You know, everything that we have, we've had to work really hard for it and we rarely get to keep them. Um, because we have people stealing from us, but that is going to come to an end. Eventually, that is going to come to a, to an end. So that is my, my, my proverbs for today. So perps, you know, that's what you have to look forward to. I didn't say it. He said it. Okay. What can I say? I got a good God. I got a good God. A big God. A large God. I call him Father. I don't even like calling him God. Well, anyways. Um, T.I.'s chosen 144,000 individuals. I don't know if I like calling us targeted individuals anymore. Maybe targeted and chosen, char chosen targeted individuals. I don't know. Maybe we can come up with something different. I love you. Blessed be. Stay in your word. You guys have a good night.